What is going on, New York Giants fans? D. Illa here. Now look, I don't want to keep on harping on Daniel Jones, but you still have those believers out there. And I need to bring this to your attention. Because look, you can continue to listen to all this cookie cutter bullshit out here on YouTube, or you can listen to somebody like me, who's going to shoot it to you straight. I'm going to feed you a different perspective than anybody else is giving you. And this is something that nobody looks into out here on YouTube, because nobody talks about this stuff. And I'm going to tell you exactly why Daniel Jones is most likely not going to work out. Like I said, there's other resources out there. Look at the sports card market when it comes to Daniel Jones. Nobody is buying his stuff. His stock is at an all-time low. You've got cards from brands like National Treasures, Prism, cards that have just flatlined, have no value at all. That's because... Everyone outside of this fan base does not believe that Daniel Jones can get it done out there on the football field. So therefore, nobody's putting any money on him. You saw it in my last video, man. Here's two cards from that video right there. These are two Daniel Jones autographs. This is a Prism Silver. This card is not cheap by any means when I bought it. This card ain't really worth much nowadays. And if you go look on eBay right now, this card may be going for $40 or $50, and it may have about five bidders on it. That's it. And make no mistake about it, there are some very knowledgeable sports card investors that know exactly what's going on with this football team. This card right here is numbered 6 of 40. This is a Daniel Jones rookie card autograph, just like the Daniel Jones prism I just showed you. A rookie card autograph. That one was a silver from Prism, one of the most respected card brands in football. This one's from Absolute. This card would probably go for the same price as the other one, around $40 or $50, and it's going to have five to six bidders. There is no reason for a card like this for a starting quarterback in the National Football League to be going for these prices. That's because nobody is buying what you Daniel Jones supporters out there are trying to sell. People are aware of what's going on with the Giants. People are aware of what this guy is showcasing out there on the field in the form of talent. Don't think everybody else is stupid and you're the smart one. They know the team doesn't have wide receivers. They know the team has just lost Saquon Barkley. They know the team has had offensive line issues. This, that, and the other. But the fact of the matter is, they also see that Daniel Jones might not have the talent to get it done in this league. So therefore, they're not investing their money in him. And whether you want to admit it or not, that's a big swing of the pendulum right there. When you start talking about dollars, hey, cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money, dollar dollar bill, y'all. Hey, cash is the language that everybody speaks. And the people that have money aren't investing in Daniel Jones. Look at fantasy football. Look at fantasy football. And I know you have all these people out there that are like, well, fantasy football is not real football. It doesn't have anything to do with the game. Bullshit. If you don't play fantasy football, that's a typical answer that I expect to hear out of somebody that doesn't play the game. Fantasy football revolves around players on offenses that are going to accumulate yards, accumulate points, and score touchdowns. And when you don't have players on your team or you have an offense that's not going to score points, those players are not going to be rostered on fantasy football teams. Now look, man, I play in season-long leagues. I play in dynasty leagues. I play in all this stuff. I know players' roster percentages. I know everything that's going on with these players on the offensive side of the ball on every damn team. Let me tell you something, when it comes to Daniel Jones and the talent that is on the New York Giants, nobody is rostering these players. I looked at Sleeper the other day. For you fantasy players out there, you know what Sleeper is. Daniel Jones' roster percentage was at 83%. Okay, you're going to hear that number and you're going to be like, well, that's a really high number, right? 83%? No, because in single quarterback leagues, he's not being rostered at 83%. The only time Daniel Jones is being rostered is in two quarterback leagues, and you're forced to start two quarterbacks. 
because in 14-team leagues or 12-team leagues, quarterbacks are extremely scarce. So when you're forced to start two quarterbacks, you have no other option but to roster a player like Daniel Jones. This is all stuff that revolves around money, and people are not investing in the New York Giants. So what does that tell you? There's a real problem here. 